Welcome back to Kurdication. This weekend, we're gonna be here at Camp Cedar in Mason, Ohio, checking out Kings Island opening weekend. So we'll show you around the campground here and our site right behind us. So we're actually staying at a cottage, the Birch Cottage. So we'll do the full room tour, uh, check out the whole campground. There's some uh, kids playgrounds here we'd like to check out. And recently, Kings Island announced that they are no longer, uh, they separated from Camp Cedar. So we'll let you know how it is, what the differences are. Uh, we were kind of bummed to hear that because we really wanted to use our season pass discounts. So, um, but uh, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this real family vacation. Welcome back to Kernication. So for our vacation here, we stayed in the Birch Cottage with the propane fire pit. Sleeps four and as you can see, you can also get a charcoal grill and a patio table right there. We also have this nice front deck with two patio chairs and a coffee table. This was really nice to have coffee in the morning, but right as I was about to go inside, who was our neighbor's amusement lifestyle? So big shout out to them. We love them. We also vlog with them uh, at Cedar Point. All right, heading into the cottage. It was very nice that these cottages had double doors, uh, so you can actually open both of them. And when you check in, you get two key cards to access the cottage. The door swings open, and as soon as you can open up both doors, you see that there's the pull-out couch, two foot rests, and you're right into the kitchen. So lots of windows. We liked a lot of the natural light, and the pull-out couch was actually pretty comfy. I think all four of us were on that at one point watching TV. So they have camp Wi-Fi. It wasn't great uh, on the weekend, I'm sure, since it was uh, sold out for a lot of the cottages. For the kitchen, they do have this full fridge, microwave, sink, no dishwasher in this cabin, a stove, and on the stove they also had an ad for their ironwood grill, so they do delivery. So here's the bathroom, um, full bathroom, pretty nice. We like that this had a shower tub combo, so we could give the kids a bath if we wanted to. So. Yeah, water pressure wasn't great, uh, but it was definitely good enough for a cabin. Here's the master bedroom. You had a TV in there, full-size queen bed. It's very comfy. I actually liked it. Crystal doesn't. That's usually how it goes. They put all the linen, linens out for you, so that was nice. And each uh, had a, a reading lamp there, so that was very cool. And there's a little closet over here, so we could store our suitcases to keep them out of the way. Lots of outlets, USB chargers. Very nice for people like us with lots of devices. And in the closet is where you'd find the pillows and the linens for the couch. All right, we're gonna, we got a golf cart rental. So explore the uh, campground here via golf cart. I backed it in. Oh, look at it, isn't she pretty? I think it was 40 bucks a night. So we're here for the weekend. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I want one. <laughs> Check out those wheels, baby. Yeah, jump in. You want to sit in the front? No, I'm gonna drive. All right, which way, bud? All right, hold on tight. I just need a beer. Don't drink and drive, kids. All right, you ready? Beep beep. <laughs> All right, this looks like a pool. It's closed, obviously, because it's May. But they got like a splash zone. Oh, yeah, it's closed. We'll have to come back if we like it. So that's pool number one. That's pool number two over here. Oh, we'll probably get a better shot if we cruise around. So that, that's the other pool. That's like the adult pool. Oh, nice! They got the uh, it's a the bar is like they got it open. That's cool. You can see it, so that's where we checked in. Yeah, that's our the check-in so building. The bar is both inside and outside. Yeah, the bar is inside and outside. Oh no! So they got a little. You can order the ironwood to go, and they got a little delivery cart. <laughs> it's got a windshield. Heck, pretty cool, huh? Beep, beep. And this is back in the front. Oh, there's the shuttle. So yeah, at the bottom of the steps, the shuttle goes every 20 minutes to Kings Island still, I ask. So every 20 minutes. Hey, mommy. 
thing. Yeah, this is where we checked in. So when you pull up, you park here, or you park, there's more parking up here. There's the basketball hoop. I'm gonna cruise over there here in a second. Yeah, this is where we checked in. Oh, my other doggies. Say woof woof. Say hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. <laughs> so it's the camp store and the lounge. That's where you were. So they got a, a basketball court over here, it looks like. It's hard to see. Behind all these golf carts, so there's like a little path. Looks like it goes down behind here, and you can get to the basketball court. And you got the tennis up too. Looks nice. That was a beep beep. Beep beep. You want me to beep beep? And there's the Camp Cedar sign. You want to take a picture? I can get it with my phone. It's a bar and lounge. Right to the left of that here. They have some cornhole. I think they might be opening the pool this weekend. Mm. Pretty cool. So this is the adults only pool. 21 or older. Here's that really cool outside bar. And here's the playground. This is where my family is. Looks like they have a few of these along the campground. Brand new place. That's very nice. Mm. What do you think of the playground, buddy? Is it hot? No. <laughs> I got some shuffleboard. So right next to the main pool called Deerfield Springs is Belize Street. So the Deerfield Springs is like the family pool area because that other pool is 21 and older. And here is Belize Street. So I'll have to inquire when this stuff does open for the season, since it is seasonal. But they have the Urban Cow, Route 66 Grill, and the Fresh Tortilla. Here's the menu for the Urban Cow. Looks like ice cream and funnel cakes. Ooh. And here's the Route 66 Grill. The Beach Box Cantina. You get cocktails, looks like beer, water, drinks, and the fresh tortilla. It looks pretty cool because a lot of this stuff is like, has all these like patio lights, patio lights hanging, so it's probably cool at night. Here's the family area. The Beach Box Bar. So it faces right next to the pool, but it's not in the pool, so that's the difference. After checking out the pool outside, we headed into the Hornbeam Lodge. So this is connected to the Coyote Creek store right off to the right there. And has a lot of sitting room, a fireplace, some paintings, and a very high ceiling. It's a very nice place to relax, and especially, and you can wait for dinner because right next to it, is the Ironwood Cafe slash grill. Uh, it's not currently open for breakfast, but they do have a nice bar that goes out to the adults only pool and that garage door behind the bar opens up so you can get a nice breeze. We did not eat here at our vacation, but we plan on visiting it during our next stop. They have some outdoor seating here for the bar and the adult pool. 
heading back inside to the Hornbeam Lodge, you can actually get to the Coyote Creek store. Here is where you will check in and out of your campsite or cottage. They have just about everything you need in this camp store. They also have the dry bean where you can get your morning coffee. They also have some breakfast sandwiches, looks like by Jimmy Dean, and some drinks for sale to start your morning. The sign does say coffee and gelato, but we noticed that they had Dippin' Dots. So they might also have gelato, but we also noticed that there were Dippin' Dots there where the ice cream was. Here's the menu. They have regular coffee, cappuccinos, macchiatos, lattes, mochas, espresso, hot tea, hot chocolate, and you can add various flavors of flavored syrup. They had lots of toys in the camp store, bathing suits, if you forgot your bathing suits, Lots of toys, life jackets, stuffed animals. They actually had some Camp Cedar merch. I actually like this sweater. In addition to apparel, they have lots of things that you might need for camping or in a campground. Some pain relievers. They have various drinks, alcoholic beverages for adults, including beer and wine and then they had various snacks. So our cottage did have like a microwave and an oven. So if you did want to make something quick, you could do that. They had this nice apparel display out front with some of their dedicated merch. All right, we're on the back of the golf cart. There we go, there's a fitness center right there and a bathroom. Bathroom right across the too. Yeah, in case because we only have one bathroom in our cottage. This golf cart really, really, gets it. really goes. It's nice. Like, can you imagine walking? No way. Right. I was like, yeah, give me a golf cart. Lots of RV spots. Yeah, they had a lot of RV openings, so. But all the yeah, cottages were booked. Left, but there really are a lot of RVs here. Yeah, it's popping. Wow. Here's our site. We're gonna get the barbecue going. We got our picnic table and a propane, baby. After eating dinner, we did check out the walking path. It runs along the side of the campground. It was actually pretty long, so it was a nice little walk uh, to do right after dinner. So. But uh, that's all we have, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this real family vacation. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe as we are going to be visiting more theme parks, more campgrounds, and checking everything out for families. We'll see you next time.